When I was just finishing up college and I was in the studio all the time, all I listened to was Public Enemy. I'm a white Jewish boy from a farm town, but hip hop culture has always inspired me. The one thing I've never done is taken a hip hop dance class. I think it's so easy to get into a creative rut. If you go to work, you do the same thing over and over again, you sort of stay in your lane. And I have to constantly remind myself to find and discover new things. Dudes, hello. All right, so check it out. I feel like we need to keep things fresh around here. And I had a thought. Wait for it. It begins with an H and ends in hip hop dance classes. What? Yeah. Yes. Do I have any takers? Rachel, you're in? I'm in, but you only want me to do it so you can make fun of me. No, because you're a spaz and I cannot I'm wait spaz. to see it. Trop. I am so in, as long as you promise to teach me how to do the running man. Some running man. Ryanse? Count me out. No, thank you. It sounds like a nightmare. You're not gonna do like a rerun? Spent my whole life avoiding occasions where I have to dance in public and it's not about to start now. Janine? Ah! All right, so let's do it. Thank you, good chat, bye. Can't wait, slash scared. I think silliness is the best quality in humanity. And it's really important for my operatives to let them be silly. You know, like they work really, really hard. Everybody who works here, it's like, we're this band of like-minded, hardworking thinkers who are trying to create a world that is filled with style, craft, and joy. And that's a serious pursuit, but they also need to remember to keep it silly if it's gonna stay fresh. some hip hop. Yes. You came to the right place Woo. and the right person. Hey. <laughs> so let's get started. I want you to start leaning back. Leaning back. Leaning back. Good. All right, he's already twerking you guys. He's already twerking. I can't help it. I can't stop twerking. Boom. You guys don't know it, but you're breaking right now. This is called the top rock. Booty, 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 booty. One. And bounce with it. Dude. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Curve. Arc. Curve. Arc. Little faster. Crump it out. What? 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 There you go. There you go. The other way. Miss V is working us. I know. Miss V does not f around. We haven't even started. We haven't started. Oh. <laughs> Sweat. Ting. And release. Roll. <laughs> Seriously, I didn't know this was going to be like so real. Oh no. <laughs> Face. Oh yeah. So, I've been told that you guys really want to learn about hip hop. Actually, the first dance of hip hop is breaking. So that was in the 60s into the 70s, and then into the late 80s, early 90s, came our party dances, our running mans, our cabbage patches, our Roger Rabbits. <laughs> what happened in the 90s a lot was that a song came out and a dance came out with the song. This whole idea of dances coming out with songs has happened throughout the history of dance and music. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. That's a party dance. Teach me how to duggy. Teach me, teach me how to duggy. Right? But let's take it back to the original one. Breaking. Breaking. Which we actually kind of started. So each time you step to the corner, I want you to think, this is my space. Get out of my way. Yeah, these hands got to say that too. And then back in here, think when you step back, the arms cross, step out. It's like an uh. Bam. Bam. Uh. Get out of my nice. Space. Uh, get, get out, out of my, my space. space bitch. Yes, and you uh, can do this facing somebody. Uh, what? What? Uh, okay, let's go back to that booty shaking one we did because we love yeah. booty shaking in this group. Yeah. Aretha Franklin. She came out with a song called Rock Steady. This is the dance that came out with it. You shake your booty to the right twice and then the left twice. Up, down, up, down. I heard somebody say, Are we gonna get to the ground? We're we gonna hit the ground? Drop it low. We're gonna drop it like it's hot. What? This is what it is now. Top rock, out, in. Out, in. Here's our new part. You're gonna drop, put your right hand on the ground. You're gonna kick your feet out that way. Boom. Oh. Bring it back. Not and happening for this up. guy. 
Okay, one more thing. One more thing. He's already got it though. What about the rest of you? That is really the running man. This is 100% doing it right. Well, I think he's right. Yeah. I want to become a full-time dancer. It's so fun. Let us focus up. We are going to use okay. all those little steps that we just learned, and we're going to put them put them together in some okay. choreography. A little little combination here. Right. One, two, three, and heels. And now we do our wave. Everybody else drops down five, kick it out six. Booty to the right and left. Five, six, seven. I think that for a creative person, the absolute most important thing you can do is take risks. Like, you can't be a creative person if you don't take risks, if you don't allow yourself to look like an idiot. You know, that's sort of what creativity is. It's putting yourself out there, trying to do something nobody's ever done before, and taking the risk of looking like an idiot, you can't succeed if you don't. So it's about taking risks, and that's what creativity is. Lamborghini art car, AKA the king of arms float. Oh my God. Yeah, it's like a three dimensional collage. So how's this done? It's just wrapped, it's a vinyl. And it's, it's a vinyl? Yeah, so I designed it and then, you know, it was originally a collage that then got scanned and then touched up in Photoshop and then it was printed and then we put it on the car. Are we allowed to get in? Yeah. <laughs> This is terrifying. <laughs> All right, this is amazing. Let's go inside, let's party. Oh.